Do you think it's just a coincidence that the guy hanging out with two chains has a third eye on his head that looks just like the Illuminati symbol? Or that the dancers in the video have nothing to do with Illuminati worship? That's right, we're going to break down all the Illuminati Easter egg stuff Expensify doesn't want you to know. That sounds great. That's great, great job, guys. You know what, as the head of finance for the record label, I gotta say, I'm excited about this music video that you guys are gonna make. It's gonna be dope, you know? But you know what's even more dope is, is Expensify hiding a bunch of secret messages in their latest music video with two chains. Did you think Expensify you were going to get away with this. Did you think no one was going to catch you? Well, I caught you. And in this video, we're going to break down every last bit of your Illuminati message, huh? This video is riddled with Illuminati messages. Why is it so secretive? What has Expensify exposed about the Illuminati movement they have gotten themselves into? Let's dive right in so that way we can see what kind of messages Expensify is rolling out. Obviously the, the clearest giveaway that this video is from the Illuminati is the presence of Adam Scott. Clearly the Illuminati sacrifices the weak during their rituals, AKA the accountant. And no one represents that better than Adam Scott. But more than that, that's right. You see the eye of Providence popping up all over the place in this video with two chains. And why is that? What is going on here? What secret embedded messages is Expensify trying to send to the rest of the world, let alone other accountants who may or may not be a part of the Illuminati movement. But we're going to dive into that and we're going to see what's going on. I have a feeling, I have a sneaking suspicion that at the Super Bowl, Expensify is going to promote more Illuminati secret messages and I urge you to keep an eye out. No pun intended for their secret messages during the Super Bowl. So one of the important things that we learned in this video is that the Illuminati apparently have a fascination for gold. Uh, we see two chains uh, waking up on a California king. Gold watch, gold chain, gold ring. And as he's walking through the Illuminati storehouse, we get to see all the gold items that the Illuminati like to, uh, to to hang on to. We see the most random gold objects like a golden donut, a golden tooth, and I think that looks like a golden finger. Not sure where they got that from. One of the greatest items of the Illuminati is the golden throne, AKA a toilet. So as Two Chains continues to walk through this room, we see the golden cherubim sitting in first class. That's right, the golden angel who's smoking a receipt, I believe. Not really sure what's in the receipt. Uh, yeah, we see a golden chair. I mean, uh, the Illuminati absolutely has everything plated in gold. Slip of Expensify to include all of this stuff. Even more incredible is we actually see a time machine that the Illuminati have built that uh, really time and space doesn't apply to two chains. And he warps into another world. Many believe this is the world of the Illuminati. This is what they've been hiding for thousands of years. Uh, the kind of technology that the Illuminati have is pretty incredible. I, I mean, when when you really look at this video, it's it's 
pretty amazing to see what the Illuminati can really do uh, that people aren't aware of. Even more incredible is in this other world, we see dancing Egyptians uh, that worship the Illuminati gods that uh, 2 Chains is representing. At this point, 2 Chains gets into his, uh, his iced whip and uh, we see no one other than the Eye of Providence maybe eating some food from the hood of the car in his seafood tower, which is really interesting. So uh, they take off. They're going, okay? They, they are moving. See, just watching this video, I want to do the same worship movements that these people were doing in this video. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. So as 2 Chains and the Eye of Providence head towards uh, 2 Chains' uh, place, we see a waiting line of individuals that want to get into the Illuminati movement. They're getting their IDs checked, probably going through some sort of ritual in order to get inside the, uh, the home of the Illuminati headmasters. Now here's what's really incredible about when 2 Chains gets up to his house. We see the Eye of Providence getting scanned in order to enter. And that's really the only way you can enter in the uh, Illuminati movement is to actually have the Eye of Providence scan you in. And that's what 2 Chains does. Now what's even funnier is 2 Chains enters the house to get inside and hands his buddy, who is the Eye of Providence, a gold sandwich, which he doesn't take a bite of, just kind of passes the sandwich. But if you look at the Eye of Providence, his necklace, it's a snake. And snakes represent something deep in the Illuminati movement. And whatever that is, I have no idea. But he was wearing a snake necklace. And we can all rest assured that that does not sound like a good thing. Snakes are not fun. I'm scared of snakes. Now, probably the only thing in this video that's really cool is that statue of the emoji, which is not plated in gold, by the way. So I'm, I'm still doing a little research to figure out what, it a gold, what a statue of an emoji has to do with the Illuminati. Even more incredible is the way the Illuminati uh, stays active and fit is they play double dutch on long necklaces made out of gold. Once again, they, they have this fascination with gold. Not really sure how that transpired, but I think over the thousands of years that the Illuminati have been around, they've excavated all the gold in the world. And so they have this storehouse of gold. They even do double dutching with gold, which is really incredible to see what the Illuminati can do with all this gold. Didn't realize that gold can be swung around that fast. Two Chains pretty much has everything in this, uh, this, you know, Illuminati home of his. I mean, he has an ATM machine, he has emoji statues, he has a, a football uh, bedazzled, <laughs> it looks like it's bedazzled. Not really sure if that's actually at Diamonds. But you know, hey, uh, even the Illuminati bedazzle things. And then we see part of the ritual of the hand slapping. This is, I mean, I'm not sure why they're doing this as opposed to this, because that's normally what you do when you clap. But this is also, I guess, a form of clapping. Maybe they're indicating somehow that they're going to slap you or smack you if you continue to uh, watch this video, maybe get down to the bottom of this Illuminati video. <laughs> and then we see the uh, dancing Egyptians worshiping the great God sitting on the throne who is a priest, uh, who 2 Chains actually gives him a, a nice little fist bump there, which I thought was really cool. I mean, that's really nice for the Illuminati to be kind of like really, you know, brotherly and, 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 and friend-like. But incredible, what you see is, you see these dancers, these <laughs> Egyptian dancers, absolutely wooing the audience. And everybody in the crowd is absolutely worshiping the Illuminati goddesses, the Egyptian goddesses, uh, even the cherubim who is sitting on the, uh, the first class seat. He's doing some sort of crab movement, which may indicate something pretty significant. Not really sure why he's kind of going against the grain here of the other worship movement versus the, the claw movement, but maybe the Illuminati lifts up uh, animals that, that have claws. You know, this could be absolutely the case. So as 2 Chains enters another dimension and then comes back, they all come around the table to celebrate 
the initiation of probably all the new members that were sitting or standing outside of Two Changes House uh, trying to get inside and everybody who actually passed the rituals. So everyone's drinking, dining around the table. Adam Scott is very happy that he has not been sacrificed by the Illuminati gods. He made the cut, probably because he recommended Expensify instead of the spreadsheet that he recommended in the beginning. So we see here at the end of the ritual, uh, the Eye of Providence carving out a nice gold statue of the leader of the Illuminati party, Two Chains. And so that way all of us could go and worship around the statue with their infamous either clapping, worship, or the crab, which is probably meant for just cherubims only and not so much humans. But I do want to say props to Expensify for creating this video. Also at the same time, very concerning about the messages that are going across regarding the Illuminati movement. So if you've not signed up for Expensify and have joined the Illuminati cult, I highly encourage you to click down in the description below so that way you can sign up and be a part of the Illuminati movement and then maybe you too can have gold statues in your home.